What does your morning routine have to do with your twin flame journey? Keep watching this video to find out. We're Adam and Brianne, Twin Flames and Harmonious Union, and we're students of Jeff and Shalia. So let's get into the video. So what is important about a morning routine and your twin flame journey, and how do those two even go hand in hand? What does that even mean? You're probably wondering. Mm -hmm. For us, it's about... It's about filling our cup up, right? Is, yeah, filling our cup up. What does it mean to fill our <laughs> cup up? <laughs> well, in our uh, experience, right? And even before we came into union and all this, I was pretty big on morning routines and these things. Right? You know, you give to yourself before you give to the world. And that's very important. So that you don't, kind of like what, what happened to us? Well, for instance, you know, my routine used to be, I would just get up in the morning, roll out of bed. I used to actually skip breakfast. I wouldn't even do breakfast. I wouldn't, I just like get up, go to the shower, get my things done and then hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by hitting the ground running means I would go straight to work or if there was any tasks or errands and I needed to run, I was like straight out the door after I did the minimum of what I needed to do in, in terms of self-care. Basically, I put the world above myself. Mm -hmm. Any tasks or duties or any responsibilities that I had, I put them above me rather than realizing that I myself was my own responsibility too. Of course, I knew that on some level, but really not going deeper with what that meant and handling like my self-care. Mm -hmm. And so what would happen is by the middle of my day, you know, I'd be running on some coffee, you know, maybe a, a, a Starbucks coffee and like a, a little loaf of bread from Starbucks, like the banana nut. I think bread is the, the one that I used to get. And so that would be my meal for almost the, the first half of the day up until around 2 or 3 p.m. And what would happen when I was living in that way is I would feel completely drained by that time and I'd feel so heavy in my body and I needed almost like a, a quick pick-me-up, you know, maybe grabbing a Snickers bar or a piece of pizza, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever I could get my hands on just to give me that energy to, to sustain me to continue to move forward. And then by the end of the day, I would be completely wiped out because I did not take care of myself. And if you're a parent, you probably can relate to this, mm -hmm. you know, getting out of bed right at the time you have to. Uh, to get your kids up to school or whatever it is and then you're grumpy and then everyone is not happy and it's just a mess and every everyone is stressing out and and if you just get up a little bit earlier and if you if you did that you will feel the difference in that kind of like giving yourself those moments before everyone you know gets up and starts moving around so when I started doing that back in the day I got I'm like I'm going to get up at five, I'm going to be drinking my coffee, I'm going to be reading my books and doing meditations. And I was a new person, basically, instead of getting up at that exact time I had to, to get, you know, my child off to school, I would just enjoy my day, nobody would need me, you know, there was just me, uh, you know, doing my thing. And then I was ready to start the day, right, when I needed to. And then that's the, that's the good thing about it. Have that time before uh, the world starts moving around just to give to yourself. And then you feel so filled up that you're just ready to move on. You know, you're ready to go for the day. Just as you're sharing your, your, your new routine, the routine that you moved into of like mm -hmm. really loving yourself and taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. I could feel like a relaxation in, in the vibration mm -hmm. that in itself felt very healing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is what, why it's so important, why we're explaining to you why, you know, it's, it may seem completely minute and, irre and irrelevant, but it's absolutely everything when it comes to any, having any relationship in your life. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, the relationship with yourself comes first, and then that flows into your union, your twin flame union. And when you're getting up, like Adam said, you know, this is where the adjustments that we've made, we get up at a decent hour rather than waiting till 10, 11. Mm -hmm. We get up at a, in an hour when, yeah, the world isn't really begun mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. And we're doing, you know, just our morning routine of whatever, whatever that feels good. 
you know. Yeah, and a shift and change too, I, I, yeah. I would say. It, it doesn't have to be the same. You have to do the same thing every yeah. day of the year. It switches and changes and whatever feels good. and, and uh, yeah. Keywords, whatever feels good. Mm -hmm. That's how you know. And, and too, you're going to experience resistance when you yeah. first transition into hopping out of bed and just hitting the ground running. And then you're like, okay, well, let me get up an hour or two earlier. You're going to feel some resistance to doing that. And that resistance doesn't mean don't do it. It just means take baby steps in moving into your morning routine. And let's say, you know, you get up normally at 10 a.m. Or even if you get up at noon, you know, try rewinding that back maybe 10 or 20 minutes. Yep. Just baby steps. Mm -hmm. And into the routine that you actually would like to have. And I'm just thinking, too, of like the love list. Yeah. This would be a great opportunity. You can write a love list for anything in your life. You can write a love list, of course, most importantly for your twin flame. Mm -hmm. Getting clear on the truth of your twin flame. But you can write a love list for your life purpose. You can write a love list for your perfect routine. You can write a love list for a car, a house, like everything in your reality. Start with those baby steps. That's what mm -hmm. I started to do when I was getting up at five. I I did like five minutes earlier on my uh, on my alarm, and then ten minutes, and like slowly made my way into that, mm -hmm. which felt better <laughs> than just jumping in. And, and you have to have like a plan. You know, not just like get up and like, what well, now then? Mm -hmm. Get clear the night before, kind of like with the love list. So what do I want to do with my morning? You know, okay, maybe get your coffee if that's your, you know, preferred beverage. And, you know, maybe you like to journal or pull cards or read. Just kind of like make a plan for it. Because like just getting up, it's just, it's not going to be, mm -hmm. um, you're going to be like, well, this was a waste. <laughs> You know, and just be with yourself. Like, make a plan for that the night before so you have something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. got to have purpose. Yeah. Because if you're getting out of bed and you don't feel purposeful, mm -hmm. it's going to feel, well, why am I doing this? Yeah, you have to know your why. Mm -hmm. Always. Whatever you do, what is your why? Yeah. Yeah. Wrapping this back into your twin flame mm -hmm. journey. When you're feeling good and you're taking care of and you're providing for yourself, mm -hmm. that is highly magnetic yeah. to your twin flame. Think, I mean, think about it. Feel into it. You could do that right now. Let's say someone that's hopping out of bed and just put yourself in these shoes or, you know, visualize it. You're hopping out of bed mm -hmm. and or someone you know is and they're very chaotic throughout their day. They're not taking care of themselves. Like, what do you what are the thoughts and feelings that come up? when you consider that person's well-being versus someone that they get up, they maybe do a workout routine, maybe do some meditation, some yoga, whatever that may be. They feed themselves a very well-balanced meal, divine dish, <laughs> sustain themselves. They've loved themselves up, up perfectly. And then they move about their day from a place of peace mm -hmm. and feeling confident and feeling very good within themselves very sure of who they are, mm -hmm. which one of those feels attractive and vibrant? Well, that's answer's pretty clear there. Yeah. yeah. And also, hey, if you want to be rich, you know, basically millionaires, they all have a morning routine. They have a purpose for getting up. It's not just, well, I have money now, so, you know, let me... Yeah, it's a purpose for life, mm -hmm. right? Like, you feel motivated. And for me, I don't really like to check my phone, you know, right when I get up. Because, you know, I take a little moment to myself to, like, you know, be with myself rather than, you know, turning on the world. Mm -hmm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be coming in at some point during the day. But just, you know, if that's you, getting up and just scrolling on your phone, right? How about giving yourself five minutes, you know, uh, to just be just you? It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. So we hope that this video encourages you to really step up and love yourself and realize how important it is that you put yourself first, even starting in the very beginning of your day, and really allow yourself to grow from those, those baby steps of whatever it is that you, you choose to do here. Really like allow yourself to implement something new and grow from that space and know that that's attracting all of your good, your abundance your, you know, your twin flame, everything it is that you desire in your life, 
this is the way to attract and manifest that. And it just starts with the here and now and just making these subtle changes. And that makes a world of difference in your life. I can 100% say that having a great morning routine has affected my twin flame journey. Amen. In massively positive ways. <laughs> Remember to check out the Twin Flames Universe website uh, to learn more, read about Jeff and Shalia, get to know the community. Yeah. And remember to like and subscribe to not uh, miss, miss the great videos we have coming out. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, yeah.